But right now, we've got um, a really easy and beautiful recipe for you. We're headed to the Stone Harbor Resort in Sturgeon Bay, where their chef there, Chef Steve, makes a delicious pecan crusted chicken. Take a look. Hi, Amy. Welcome to Stone Harbor Kitchen. Today, I'd like to show you how to that we prepare our famous pecan and crusted chicken. Uh, it's a very simple process. Anybody can do this at home very easily. What we do is we take a skinless, boneless chicken breast and we hand trim it, make sure there's no fat or grizzle on it. And then we season it with a special seasoning that we make here with garlic powder, parsley, black pepper, and salt. And we season it uh, uh, this way and then we just take this, pat it down, and then we put it in flour and we just do one side. And then in egg wash, now this is two eggs and a cup of milk and it's whisked so that it's broken up. And we just set that one side in there. And then we put it in our chopped pecans. Now, um, you notice that they're not real big pieces because if they are, they'll fall off the chicken. You need to put them in a food processor or hand chop them. And then this is our pecan chicken. And now we just bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we bring that out of the oven. Now I have one in the oven here, so to show you. It's already done. Let me just put this on the plate. Oh, doesn't that look good? Oh, Amy, we took this out of the oven now at the oven was set at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Now you don't want to over bake it, it'll dry the chicken out, plus it will turn the pecans a little too dark. Um, and then we set the plate up like this, and then we, for a final touch, we enhance it with some lingonberries for the customer to spread on the chicken at their leisure, and it really brings out that pecan taste. The lingonberries are a sweet and tart combination. 